Hey beer people, what's up y'all? Bruce your brothers here tonight, and we got a very, very, very special episode. Woo! Very special episode, man. First yes. off, this is the first video we've done in 2014. Oh, you're right. You're it right. is. The first video we've officially really shot, aside from our little teaser of the, you know, but this is our first review. Oh well, yeah, that's right. Last night was a little teaser. Yeah, it's a little teaser, a little teaser that we posted, and we appreciate all love on that. No nipple grip. No nipple grip, just a little tease, just a little mm -hmm. tease. But it was good, and we appreciate love, but this is our first official review, and of course it is of the Hop Slam clone that we brewed. Yes, um, we had a good three weeks on this. We did a two-stage fermentation, and then we still went uh, straight to keg. Right, straight so, to keg. So um, you know, this so is that's the result. How, yeah, we're doing. You know, we did the quick uh, carbonation method. Yep. We had a little bit of trouble pouring it at first, you know, but we got it obviously taken care of, and it pours great. Um, we pre-poured it that way. You don't have to deal with us digging through the keg and sh you know through the kegerator. Just All that BS. Pour. All that BS, man. But initially, when we think about the hop slam, what, what do you see different, man? Ours is, uh, we are, okay, looking, go back, watch our previous video, do that real quick, pause. The hop slam, man. Hop slam, it's gotta look, you see the I guy, would, it's yes. a guy getting slammed by a hop. By a hop. I'd love to do that, man. I know. I, I would love eat hops. It. I would, yeah. Bow. All right, anyway, we're a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker. We're not as, um, actually we're a little cloudy. It's a too. cloudy, darker. Yeah. But, but the it smell smells, it has that the honey, it has yes. a similar smell to the original hop slam that we tried. And and by no means are we saying like this is like because hop slam is a legendary beer. It is. I think. It's great. It's one of my we favorites. We strive you know, to get you know, there. Yeah, it's good. And, and hopefully it's just as good. And it's a, you know, hopefully it seems like a simple If it's comparable, I'm happy. Right, right. And, and IPAs are, are typically simple beers to brew from what we've gathered so far, you know, different home brewers we've talked to, you know. But nonetheless, we went if it gets close to the hop slam, well, I'll be happy because that's one of my favorite brews. I really love it. I'm a uh, big IPA fan. I'm a hophead, and and so far and it's darker, to, but it smells good. And going back to Beer Advocate, they gave it a 100. Yeah. Which, what else does Beer Advocate ever give a 100? All right. So obviously it's a good beer. So, so if we can closely replicate it, we're fine. We can hit a 96. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm gay. But thus far it's a little darker. It smells very similar. It does. It does smell. It has that honey, hoppy, honey. Oh, it's, it's there's a lot of hops that went Dude, in. Dude, I don't know if, if y'all understand, but it's pretty exciting. You know, it's yes. like I feel like we need to have like drum roll. You know what I'm saying? Like we need. We'll go ahead, man. We need to try right. it out. Anyway, this is Brucey Brothers history right here. Right here. Cheers. First brew, man. Ready? Woo! Oh my God, dude. Game on! Woo! I'm Holy a, smokes! I don't mean to toot my own horn. But toot, toot, mother... <laughs> yeah, dude. That is off the <laughs> chain. Dude. Wow! That is really good, honestly. Um, It, it has a very... Oh, it's not sh <laughs> It's not sh <laughs> at all. That's right. It's not sh <laughs> at all. This is some good beer, man. Damn! Good homebrew, man. It is... It, wow. It's better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. It, it It's very... It has a bitter end... That I'm feeling now, but it has. But it's a, so smooth. It has a fruity, hoppy. You know, yeah. it's kind of like the original hops. I mean, it has that almost fruity yeah. presence to it. You know what I'm saying? It, but not like you said, not toot our own horn. But we are within one percent of the actual hop slam. I think. So. I, can I mean, it's, it's, it's very that. close. I it's very close. Yeah. I can honestly say that. Now, what we're gonna do though to test this, because we could be wrong, we're gonna try. We're gonna get you know a growler. You know, we're gonna fill up a growler and seal the <laughs> shit out of it. You know what I'm saying? To save it, because hop slam should be coming out soon. Next, right, in a few weeks, weeks, I think it should yeah. be coming out, or at least the next month or so. So we should be. We're able gonna to do a save side it. by side. And I want to do a side by side, but so far, man, um, holy smokes, I'm very, I, I'm man. honestly very, very, very um, pleased. Um, I'm very pleased. It, it is very good. Wow. Look, it's got good lacing on yes. the glass, even. Um, I think we hit the a. Hoppy we should have uh, hit a 9.3, 9.2, 9.3. I think right around there. That's good, man. But. Oh my God, that's good. So there you go, man. That is history. Bruce your brother's history, straight up. The first brew. Bow. We we did a fucking good job, I think. Um, a few of you watching will we'll taste this. You know, yeah. we're probably gonna have a little exclusive tasting party, something going on. But you know what I'm saying? It's but, gonna rip your palate, man. But, but but you'll enjoy it, all right? It's so, gonna be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed watching our first brewing session experience, and uh, maybe you learned something. You definitely learned something, actually. Or maybe you won't. From us.